welcome back to Angie in Wonderland. The other day I showed you guys how to make some house bees in a DIY. I'm gonna go ahead and post that link up here if you guys missed it. Go ahead and watch it. It's a very quick and easy DIY on how to make house bees. They are so pretty and they add so much character to your home and decor. But the other day I also showed you guys that you could add little tassels on the end of those house bees. And today I'm gonna show you guys how to make these cute little tassels that you can add to the end of your house beads or put on whatever you want to use them for. But anyway, these are going to be so quick and easy. All you're going to need is some yarn of your choice, your color, and some hot glue. And I will quickly show you guys how to do this and you guys will be the best little tassel makers ever. So go ahead and follow me and I'll show you how to do these. Okay, so basically what you're gonna need is you're gonna need some yarn. And you're going to want to make the yarn a long, long piece as, as long as you want it. And you're gonna basically take it and you're gonna wrap it around your hand just like this, several, several times. And the more that you wrap around your hand, the thicker and bigger your little tassels will be. So you just kinda keep doing this wrapping it around your hand just like this. It's gonna get pretty tight. And then when you're finished with that, you're gonna take your, take your hand out and take your scissors and you're going to cut along the inside of it just like so. And you're gonna cut that little piece off. And you're gonna lay it down flat on the table like this. You're gonna take another piece of the yarn just like that and cut it. You're gonna place the other yarn right in the center, just like this, and you're going to make a knot, tie it real, real tight, one little loop, tight and secure, and then another knot just for extra security. And then you're just gonna leave them dangled just like that. And then you're gonna flip it over so you can't see the knot on the other side. So you're gonna flip it over so it's gonna look like this. You're gonna flip it over so it looks just like this. And you're gonna straighten it out, make it real fluffy. And you're gonna cut another piece of yarn out just like this, as long as you want it. And basically what you're gonna do with this piece is you're gonna take your little pom-pom here and you're going to wrap this piece all the way around your little pom-pom. And you're just gonna keep wrapping it and wrapping it and wrapping it and just keep wrapping it all the way around until you get it to where you like the look. So just kinda keep wrapping it around just like this. You wanna fold that in there if you can. Let's see, don't wanna get your other little pieces tangled up. But anyway, there's your little wrap around and wrap it around maybe one or two more times right down here. And then you're going to cut this little piece that you just finished wrapping around. You're gonna cut this little piece just like this. Cut that off. And then you're gonna take a little bit of your hot glue and you're just going to glue this little piece down just like this just that little tiny piece, that way it's hot glued on there and it's secure. And then when you're finished, you're going to trim off the bottom pieces of your little pom-pom and get it to where you want it to be, how long you want it to be, how even you want it to be. This one actually turned out a little smaller than I wanted, but you just kind of trim it off just like so. And there you have it. There is your little pom-pom, just like that. Very, very quick and easy. And then when you get, if you want to, on the end of those little um, house beads, you just hot glue it on the end of the house bead, just like that. And it works out perfectly. So cute, right? 
All right, so how quick and easy is that to make tassels? I was blown away when London showed me how to make tassels. Hers are still pretty good. I'm still like in the learning process of trying to perfect my little tassels, but I think that they are looking so good. And the more that I do them and the more that I practice, the better they will look, right? So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you guys enjoyed this little DIY and I hope that you guys can decide to make your own little tassels as well and add them to your house beads or any home decor that you guys have. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time on Angie Wonderland. Bye.